Over the centuries, there have been about nine different cities of Troy. Archaeologists have been digging in an effort to discover the remains of the cities and differentiate between the various cities. Well, Turkey is breaking tourist records this year. <laughs> the whole world is coming. Here you saw the hotel yesterday, sure. The whole world is coming. Here it's high season now for cultural tours. These ancient walls date back five to 9,000 years. There were about nine cities built on top of one another during this time. The last city was a Roman city which was conquered by various armies, the last one being the Ottomans. This wall is probably at least 3,000 years old. The entire site is covered with walls, walls of rooms, walls of demarcation between homes, walls for defense, walls for government and religious purposes. The fact that any walls are standing is due to either reconstruction or the fact that dirt settled next to them so that when an earthquake struck or an attacking army arrived, the wall would not fall. As you watch this video, accept that you are seeing rubble or valuable artifacts from over 3,000 years of residents and conquerors. In Greek mythology, the Trojan War was waged against the city of Troy by the Greeks. Helen was a beautiful woman. Helen had fallen in love with Paris. Paris took Helen from her husband, King Menelaus of Sparta, to Troy, which is in Turkey. King Agamemnon of Mycenae was Menelaus's brother, and he led a Greek army against Troy. The Trojan War lasted for ten years. There were many casualties during this war, including Ajax and Achilles on the Greek side, and Hector and Paris on the Trojan side. The Greek army was unable to breach the Trojan Wall during this time. They finally hit upon a plan to build a horse as a monument to their efforts and hid a few Greek soldiers in the horse. The Greeks boarded their ship and left. The Trojans moved the monument, the horse with the Greek soldiers, into the city. The Greek army returned to Troy, and the soldiers snuck out of the horse at night, opened the gates, and the Greek army surged into the city and killed everyone except a few women and children who they sold into slavery. The Greeks also destroyed the temples. This act annoyed the gods, and as a result, few Greek soldiers ever returned to Greece. Many settled in foreign lands, which explained the large Greek population in Turkey. Aenes, one of the Trojans who survived the slaughter, found his way to Italy and was instrumental in fathering the Romans. Whether this story is true or just a collection of various events or pure fiction may never be known. Homer is credited with the Iliad and the Odyssey, which tells about the war and the return of Odysseus, one of the Greek soldiers. The ancient Greeks thought that the Trojan War was a historical event that had taken place in the 13th or 12th century BC. In 1870, a German archaeologist, Heinrich Schellemann, excavated this site and it has been accepted as Troy.
Note the numbers on the uh, pieces of columns where they were found, how they've been cataloged. We're well covered. Yes. <laughs> do it by hand. Still tough, tough work. Okay, if you're being invited into the home, you will be requested to take off your shoes. If you're invited to a balcony uh, just outside the home, in that case you do not have to take off your shoes. It's Turkish tradition to take off the shoes. Socks are okay as long as they're matching. <laughs> if you don't have socks, in that case, as long as they're not smelly, that's okay. <laughs> no, no, without socks is okay, no problem, no problem. No problem. And you'll get a bottle of water on your way to the house. And I'll try to show up at every house, albeit briefly. But other than that, you'll be at your own resources. Body language. Oh, somebody had asked the word for children. Child. Chojuk. Chojuk. Maybe you can add that to the list. I forgot to tell you. Chojuk is in the big cities, maybe. But that's good, though. You remember that. Chojuk. You want to ask how many children? Kach! Oh, if, if you brought any gifts, you didn't have to. You didn't have to at all, but sometimes our guests bring little gifts. This Muslim couple was our host for a lunch meal. The gentleman trained his camel to fight. A fighting camel forces the other camel to place its face on the ground. That is a camel knockout. His camel was a champion. I talked a lot during the meal so I would not have to eat the food which I did not care for. Goodbye. Bye-bye.
outside of Rome or outside of... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, way south. Okay. All the way to the tip. Okay.